the remote jungles of Papua New Guinea, an international team of scientists and filmmakers has been searching for rare and endangered Ooh. creatures. Oh. Ah. We can find something really, really spectacular inside here. I guess that's the hope. Two weeks in, and they've made an impressive start. What an extraordinary looking fish. They found the weird. They have no idea what that will become. The wonderful. Now you can really see yeah. how tiny it is, like compared to your thumb. And discovered animals unknown to science. I'll bet you any money that wasp right there that's walking along that leaf is a new species. Bet you mm. any money. They've hunted high and low. Now beneath the forest floor, Steve Backshall is pushing deep into a cave. One of the few places on Earth where no one has been before. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. This is extraordinary! Just above Australia, in the Western Pacific, lies Papua New Guinea. Cloaked in dense rainforest, these valleys are among the most isolated on the planet. The main base camp is on the slopes of an extinct volcano, Mount Basavi. Further east, a smaller team is on the island of New Britain. They're exploring an underground river cave mapping it as they go. This is one of the most remote, inaccessible places on the planet, and there genuinely are dark corners of Papua New Guinea that no human being has ever been to before. This place is absolutely ripe for exploration. It's risky. Just to get in means abseiling 80 meters to the cave entrance. Steve Backshaw is the expedition climber, caver, and naturalist. Oh, this is unbelievable! Oh, wow. What an unbelievable amount of water! Welcome to McGenny River Cave! Oh, oh. He's joined the Anglo-French team who first discovered this cave. The locals call it McGenny. They're led by pioneering British caver Dave Nixon, known as Moose. Really, really excited. Not knowing what was at the top. Oh, it makes you feel so alive. Their aim is to press further into this uncharted cave and map passages never seen before by man. Plus 5.7. Moose is fancy a laser off the walls of the tunnel so he can figure out how big it all is. That's the whole purpose of surveying, really. It's just to map out the size of the caverns. John Paul, this joint is developed on 50 degrees, 230, 50-230. What fires them is the hope of finding a new undiscovered route right through the mountain. Seven hundred miles west in the shadow of Mount Basavi lies the base camp. A cluster of makeshift huts is home to the wildlife filmmakers, the expedition medic, expert trackers, cooks, and at its heart, the scientists. Leading them is Dr. George McGavin. I'm heading up a team of scientists, each experts in their own field. Our aim is to document what animals live in and around this giant extinct volcano and also to search for any new species and there must be hundreds. The cooks are preparing the dinner when their fishing nets land something bigger than they bargained for. George is on hand to help. It's a crocodile I think. Okay. Oh. 
Croc expert Paul O'Dowd has to work fast, but carefully. It's really essential that we secure the front end and the jaws have to be tied shut, otherwise it can take somebody's hand off. But she's really growly, you can feel that in her throat. She's not a happy croc at all. Almost unnoticed in the net, there's a venomous catfish. There's a big fish here, and that spine is loaded with very nasty toxin. And if that jabs into Paul's hand or my hand, uh, not nice. You can give me a very sick person. Actually, George, yeah? maybe with your free hand, yeah? could you just sort of make sure that right. this, that's the way? It's not every day you have to restrain a large freshwater crocodile while holding a toxic spine of a catfish in your other hand. Out of the net, the crocodile is now free to go. Fantastic, happy ending. She's off. She's going to be safe. happy and healthy and... Well done, mate. Fantastic. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well.